Today I take you through my backyard chicken uh, farm. So I've got some chickens that are here uh, behind my home and they are about 25 to 30 birds. Most of them are layers. Uh, some are young, they've not started uh, laying. So I begin by giving them uh, vegetables. If I've got vegetables, greens in the morning, so uh, that will keep them going for some time until I give them the usual normal. These are cabbage leaves, uh, very good for their nutritious growth and they provide uh, important nutrients like vitamins and also they keep them healthy, not just feeding them with commercial feeds or um, posho feeds only but a supplement with some greens if possible. So I'm now feeding them with greens. These ones are laying and there is one uh, cock inside. So these are eight birds in this compartment. In the down compartment, there are about 20 birds. 18 of them are layers and two of them are cocks, which is a good balance. So the eggs that uh, uh, this chicken lay are already fertilized and they are good for hatching chicks. So that's why we have put uh, two cocks and it's recommended uh, for about 10 chicken to have one cock. So the balance is equally uh, good. They seem to enjoy the snack. These, these are vegetables, green vegetables. Actually, these are cabbage leaves, cabbage leaves. And then after this, I'll uh, give them the usual feed. That is Mr. Jogo. He's the oldest Jogo in the compound. So now I'm fixing, I'm mixing the feeds. And basically I get my feeds from posho mills. These are remains or the byproduct of milling maize, which is very good for chicken and what i normally do is i'll add some supplements uh, to make the meal complete or to make it nutritious uh, in order to support good quality eggs and hard shells so that was the posho meal uh, by product which is basically a product from maize maize meal milling now this is uh, omena uh, which also I mix with the feeds and this is good for uh, uh, giving the chicken protein not too much just enough because again when they are too much it doesn't uh, go well then uh, put some grit which aids in the digestion of the of, of the uh, food and also hardening of the eggshell so that's some 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 lime some lime grit which I'm mixing to the feeds and this one you can buy from any shops that sell pottery fields or an agrovet so now I'm mixing the maize meal the omena or fish, uh, small fish, and the grid. Sometimes I also buy commercial feed and add on to this just to supplement 
and make it more complete. So now I'm feeding uh, the chicken. They're just excited. Uh, they know the snack is here. Come on, move. 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 Come on. Move. Come on. They really enjoy. It's nutritious. I believe delicious because they can't wait uh, in the morning to get uh, a taste of this meal and they've grown very very well and these are pure kienyeji chicken pure kienyeji, not hybrid I think the reason they, they are very excited is because of the uh, omena, the small fish that's why they are very excited The chicken are really enjoying the meal as you can see and they've given a very good egg production even without using the commercial feeds these are indigenous chicken we call them kienyeji chicken and they're being fed on kienyeji kienyeji feeds purely kienyeji these are not commercial feeds Always make sure that your chicken have got fresh water all the time. This is for good health and also to ensure if they are egg laying birds, they, uh, it will not affect their egg production. So this is aloe vera which is used uh, as a medicine for disease prevention. So it's a preventive uh, measure and it has been effective because uh, for since february i've not lost any bird to disease uh, i've been supplementing this with normal uh, vitamins only and the sap is what is important which you're supposed to ensure when you're putting in the water you break the aloe vera leaf into pieces and then dip it into the water and that will make sure that uh, the chicken will have some sort of immunity to diseases so it's actually a vaccine